you can see here how messed up things are leaving Tacoma. If you've never been into the loves in uh, Tacoma, it, the, the whole place is just a mess. And uh, it used to be the Flying J there. It's a Loves now. I guess uh, Flying J just had their fun with it, so they, they said they'd had enough and sold it to Loves. This is the first clip going up Snoqualmie Pass. Uh, I wound up having to stop to uh, let the truck cool down because it was overheating on me. It was pretty warm outside. And so I took that opportunity. I climbed up on top of the machine and attached one of my GoPros to the railing. Unfortunately, the video didn't work very well because the, the rail that I attached it to was flopping around, so the camera was flopping around, so I actually wound up going and getting a better camera mount, so in future videos, this will actually be better. About the time we got over to the ryegrass rest area, for miles and miles and miles, you could just see this plume of smoke rising into the air, this giant mushroom cloud. And uh, this is all off the wildfire that's out there, uh, I believe, in the Wenatchee area. And uh, it's, it was just insane seeing this uh, big old plume of smoke coming up in the air. They're, they're having some really bad problems with fires out there. So it is Wednesday morning, and I am just now getting out of Post Falls. Spent the night here last night. Uh, couldn't really go any further. I mean, I could have driven across Idaho. It's 74 miles, but the problem is I didn't have my Montana permit yet. And uh, I do have a Montana annual that lets me go 15 wide, 14 tall. But the problem is that's not an overweight permit because Montana only does overweight permits quarterly. So I uh, haven't bought a quarterly overweight permit for Montana yet. So in order to get that, you know, extra weight I needed because I'm about just a little over 100,000 pounds in this configuration right now, I had to uh, get that permit. So finally. This clip here is dropping off of uh, 4th of July Pass and the Idaho Panhandle. Playing around with another camera angle that, where I have it attached to the back of the sleeper. This old Dominion truck just blew by me. I mean, I was doing about 18, 20 miles an hour coming off the hill, and that dude come by me so fast it actually startled me. He, he wasn't even slowing down at all. This is more of the Idaho Panhandle. This is coming off of the Butte Hill. This is the Continental Divide, and I had to come off of this hill really slow. And this is just outside of Bozeman, leaving the uh, Butte Hill in my rearview mirror. And we're just dropping off down into three forks here. So I just left the Sheridan, Wyoming port entry, about 334 miles from my destination in Cheyenne. Uh, just called the company, waiting on a call back from them. What we got to see is right now I'm looking at being there right at about. 5.15, 5.20 in the afternoon. What I need to do is see if I can get somebody to stay a little bit late because they close at 5. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get someone to stay 10, 15, 20 minutes late so I can get this thing off the trailer, get paperwork signed, and get out of there. Hoping that's going to be the case so I'm not stuck unloading this thing first thing in the morning. Uh, if I do get stuck unloading in the morning, I guess that's just the case, but it's going to make it a lot harder to get a reload tomorrow. So just trying to plan around that, but it's, it's 334 miles. Gonna hammer down and hit it hard. I'm about 148 miles from Casper right now. I got to do my 30 minute break in Casper, so I'm gonna stop there and uh, hopefully uh, it won't take any more than 30 minutes to get out of there. Uh, that truck stop can be a little tricky sometimes, but I'm gonna get in and out as quick as I can. Turn and burn and uh, we'll, we'll check in a little bit later and see how it goes. Uh, I'm either going to be checking back in and saying, hey, yeah, you know, we got her delivered, or, you know, here I am sitting in gloves in Cheyenne uh, waiting for them to open in the morning. So we'll just have to see what happens here. All over the road, there were just bikers everywhere and uh, started running into this storm. And, oh, man, I felt bad for these guys because it just dumped rain and dumped rain and dumped rain. I didn't record any video while we were running through the storm just because I wanted to have both hands on the wheel and be paying attention to what I was doing, but, and then uh, it timed out of the dash cam before I thought to save it. 
Yeah, just... So, but uh, yeah, these guys that are passing right here, uh, I wound up seeing them about 30 minutes later, just absolutely drenched. They were hiding out underneath the freeway bridge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Sturgis Bike Week in the last week, so everybody and their brother was out there on a motorcycle. So, that right there, that is awesome. I got it off the truck. So, I'm gonna go over the truck stop. I'm gonna get myself a steak and dinner. We'll catch y'all later. Hey Dexter, should people subscribe to our channel? Yeah. 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 Yeah.